Hey, get back here. So we got the other two 50 card re cards revealed. Um, Culpepper is your first one. We'll go through the rest or well, the other one after a word from our sponsor. Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden 21 coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. So Culpepper, right? Very solid stats. What kind of archetype will he get? That we don't know. I guess I can go look at last year's card. And, and I guess he's a good quarterback. He's a, he's a, a, a good Madden player back in the day. Uh, but, like, it's less exciting because we got him last year, I guess. I don't know. Maybe maybe legends that we, we, we've recently gotten um, are less exciting to me for some reason. I don't know why, When if they're not Steelers. It was a strong arm archetype. Crazy last year, this was, like, useless. This year, this is, like, super important for Gunslinger. And, uh, yeah, if he gets strong arm archetype again, this is, like, what? the Like, up there with the best quarterback in the game, right? It's Allen, Favre, him for Gunslinger. You don't even need to power him up for it. And I don't even know if he gets anything important at 93 overall, so it might even be just not worth it at all. Maybe get them to the actual throw power. Because let's see, 94 on the power up, plus 4 with the go deep, uh, or play fake him to 98. Is there a way to get to 99 at that point? I don't know if there is. But anyways, team chems, does that work on throw power? Or is that just like speed agility? I don't, I don't know. But anyways, it's it's high enough throw power, right? And, and Gunslinger is uh, kind of crazy. He is a nice tall dude too, 6'4", so he's not going to be like thrown into the line of scrimmage or into the lineman helmet too much uh, with Gunslinger or, uh, I mean, low passes can still happen, but yeah, his last card, they did seem to juice his speed a little because his 99 last year had only 86 speed, uh, but yeah, solid card overall, otherwise we got Albert Hainsworth as the other one, and it, it, you know, obviously there's a lot of jokes to make Albert Hainsworth, you got the stomp cam, he's just got the lay down on the field, he's got high motor, no... Uh, but overall, for the stats, uh, a little underwhelming, I guess, with the 91 block shot and 90 power move. Uh, like, he was a beast, right? That's why he got such a huge contract with Washington. He was phenomenal with the Titans there for a little bit. But, like, he's not an offense alignment, okay? I, and I've played Madden a long time, longer than I'm sure 99% of the people in, you know, ever. So, with that said, I don't remember Elbert Hainsworth being particularly dominant in any Madden right I don't I don't really remember that as well whereas Culpepper you know those early 2000s yeah okay I could see that a little bit him and, and, and I've talked about this before with Lyman yesterday I uh said on Twitter right and I, I think Albert Hainsworth is is fine he's a good card for this and uh, sorry a good player for this but like offensive linemen were my biggest like faults right and, and like when i see Albert Hainsworth, i'm like okay a defensive lineman really like the biggest madden defensive lineman that i ever know was julius peppers um maybe some of those you know i guess you could consider some of those nano blitzers back in the day that were fast in the d line um as like top end madden cards that i remember and, and he wasn't fast right he's just thick and so i want to go back to like my predictions of like what i was thinking it's like this is this was before the the promo came out, and so like when I when I heard of the fifty, I we didn't actually know. So this was like the, literally a shot in the dark. It's easy to look back at it twenty twenty and say, oh, obviously it was gonna be Madden cards. And if anybody said in the comments, I'm banning you from the channel, you little bitch. I I almost fucking nailed this promo, but instead I said mutt cards instead of Madden players. So I was pretty close, right? When they said the fifty with almost no teasers, I was pretty fucking close. But anyways. Like, so Darius Smith is a defensive lineman that I can see because of how good he was and, like, how dominant he was and how good he was for his overall across the D-line. Now, I'm not saying Albert Hainsworth wasn't dominant. Um, oh, his theme teams at Albert Hainsworth gets Tennessee, Washington, New England, and Tampa Bay. And uh, Culpepper's teams that he gets is Minnesota, Oakland, Detroit, Miami. Wow, I'm I, M -N to MIA. I'm MIA in thoughts sometimes. So... Few theme teams for both of those cards, which is kind of neat. Uh, but like, yeah, what, what, what's funny about this Elmer Hainsworth is, is he's too lazy to have a have a picture on Pro Football Reference too. Funny, funny, funny. Anyways, so with that, like, I was looking at this was my this is my thoughts. Like, some of these cards, sure, if they came out 
maybe they wouldn't be the greatest. Like, Darren McFadden, I don't know how many people would be excited about him. He's kind of like a lesser name now. But, you know, if Tim Tebow came out, that'd be kind of hot. Leon Sandcastle, maybe they don't have the rights for that. I don't know. But they got Dion, so why wouldn't they? So, like, obviously this is more mutt-focused. But, like, this is basically a look back at their mutt card art. And, like, it is, it is kind of cool card art when it first came out. And Legend card art's cool, but, like, it's all the same now, right? I, I, I really kind of wish, if they were to do something like this in the, in, the, in the future, and if they did Muck cards, like I guessed, if they just, like, copy and pasted the card art from that year, right? Like, with all the memories. And that's one thing is, like, with the, uh, sorry, I'm completely going off topic now. One thing I was thinking about with, like, the, the explosion of card hobbyists, right? The number of people buying um, cards and stuff, right? Like, Pokemon cards, baseball, football, basketball, all the cards... I like going up in price a ton. Um, why don't they print cards and like sell them, right, for collector's items? That's why I don't get. Just like make a deal with Panini or whoever the hell is making the football cards now. Be like, all right, you put out these cards through the year uh, into packs, and uh, you know what? We can make a lot of money this way. It's not a bad idea because that'd be kind of cool though. I'm like a old school man is 16 Odell Beckham Mutt Master card. A lot of good memories are tied up in that. Um, I don't know, maybe you guys wouldn't like that. But, like, uh, yeah, this one was totally, like, a, a Steelers hover now. But he actually played really well in 15, if everybody remembers. Back when Playwreck actually mattered. And Ham had 99 Playwreck, he was a freaking beast with that. So, like, I, like a lot of these cards, sure, it's, it's it, there's no, you're not seeing many linemen here. You're seeing a couple, obviously. But, like, I feel like it, it was more, like, memorable for a lot of these things. Versus, like, offensive linemen were never super memorable. So, like, going through these things... It just seems weird where my expectations were with this promo and how good some of the cards were versus how they ended up being and how kind of like just ho-hum they are. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just I'm just dreaming of a Dree Archer. But Albert Hainsworth is a solid, uh, fine defensive lineman. But yeah, I guess he's I guess he's kind of memorable. For, he's memorable more in the NFL. Like I wouldn't be my, my these guys. Like all these offensive linemen are fine in a Legends promo, and that's the thing is like in a Legends promo this makes sense or a almost Legends promo, but in the Madden fifty most fifty memorable card players in Madden fifty memorable in Madden no no so it just my expectations for how they marketed this promo are different than what we're getting. And uh, maybe that's on me. Maybe I, maybe I, you know, should have uh, adjusted lower, and just they were just gonna throw cards against the wall and call them Madden cards and memorable cards of Madden, because it's wrong. Straight up, offensive lineman Elbert Ainsworth, like not that bad, but like offensive linemen are the ones I'm more ticked about. So we'll see, we'll see. Should be good later today. This is launching, um, and uh, that's kind of all I wanted to talk about with those two reveals. I don't got anything I want to go through. I went through most of my thoughts on most fear and a lot of other stuff last night. He did confirm scary tall tomorrow. He was like, wait a second. Maybe I wasn't supposed to announce that, right? He was like, wait, or, or maybe something else. So scary tall tomorrow, but we knew that because uh, of Cats of Jenkinstein and EA's other teaser. So he just he just kind of reconfirmed it with what he said. But that's it for the video. Hope you guys liked it. Um, if so, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. But uh, until we meet again, see you tomorrow or later tonight.